my lovely dolls what's up what's up i hope you guys are doing well remember to subscribe and like if you have not if you're new to the channel subscribe and like and hello to all my lovely dolls that are coming back to the channel and watching every week all right so for this video i am actually installing for the first time a braided wig and i'm starting out as you can see by braiding the hair and yeah it's a more mature lady somebody who is you can call it in my family because we have a history she knew my parents and then she knew my husband who was my boyfriend at the time because he um we call it lived with her was a tenant of her hers but anyway yes yeah, so she is fixing up herself getting herself all dolled up um and i really love that no matter what the age is get yourself uh, in a zone to fix up self-care and all of that but yeah i'm braiding the hair it wasn't a great braid because as you guys can see i have nails on and i'm not great with with nails and braiding um but i did what i can to get it as flat as possible hair is thin so that actually helps as well on the thinner side i should say not as thick and full as mine and long but we did what we could do and braided the hair and then i'm gonna just be laying the wig as we normally do so you can just listen to the music or whatever grab a drink or watch what's going on tell me what you think about this wig would you wear it or have you worn a braided wig before i was actually looking into it not this type but the box braid because i really like it i really like box braids but i don't really like people sitting in my hair so long braided wigs that are very simple not as intricate as this one but like straight backs i'm fine with sitting for one hour to do with that but the box braids are hectic for me i don't really love people being in my hair that long it gets me sleepy i'm just there sitting and not doing anything productive or anything i really want to be doing around somebody else so yeah if you get what i mean so i applied some gel to her edges to lay them back so that they are not in the way and then we're gonna put a stocking cap on her head so that there's a little bit of a barrier between her hair and the glue or the gel and the wig as well um so yeah <laughs> Now we are creating that tackiness using the blow dryer and it's actually on cool so that it will stick down as you can see and then we're gonna cut it out. Alright, so now we're applying the glue to the outer performance of the head and no, we don't apply it on the edges as much as possible because it's going to take out your edges and we want our edges. Yeah, edges all year round, okay? Um, and then I'm going to use it on the blow dryer and cool setting again to tack it down. I didn't do as much layers as I would for myself because I know that she would be taking us off um, very soon because she doesn't like the staying in the wig thing so it was just to get it tacked down for a day or two so it was a very thin um, small layer of glue
Okay, so now what you see me doing is cutting off the lace. So I'm cutting off the side and I have to cut off a bit more and even a little bit of hair off this because her head is very small. Her circumference of her head is very small and the wig was quite big for her. Um, but I, we have to get it laid so I did what I had to do and we're going to cut off all that lace right now. So we're using the got to be glue to help adhere the glue for that temporary hole a little bit more and then we're going to put on her do rag to tie it down again to set everything in place and i'm gonna hot we call it no warm cool air the, the the section again to help everything to stick and stay in place um so yeah So she was sweating a bit under the durag, so that's why you see those white marks and those were the pieces that were further out from the um, the lace. So I'm going to remove that with alcohol so that it doesn't show and let the, the, the install doesn't look as good as it should. And then I'm going to work on the baby hairs, cut them and then put them in place, you know, lay them. She wanted to lay the, all of them, but I took out a little bit to thin it out so it looks more natural. Um, cause this would look very unnatural if I had done all of it. So I kind of cut it down a little bit, um, so it looks natural. Alright guys, so remember to subscribe and like if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and join the Moya Lovely family, the 876 Barbies, the lovely Barbies, the lovely dolls. Go ahead and subscribe and comment down below if you'd wear this piece or if you have a braided wig as I said before. Because I'm interested, what is it like wearing a braided wig? Is it really as it seems like it's just put it on and go or is it still a lot of work? 
keep it on for it to look natural etc etc let me know down below And that is the final look. I really did like it on her. It brightened up her face and created an easy go look. She didn't have to sit down and do this for how much hours to get this look. Um, so yeah, remember to wear the best you for the world to see. And this is Moy Lovely signing out. Remember guys, subscribe and like and comment in the section. It really helps.